Hello guys and welcome to this course on Unity 3D by Edonix. In this video we are going to simply import the assets that were pre-built for you guys. Uh, they should be on the website, uh, most likely in the description of this course. Um, I've already downloaded them and it should look something similar to this. Um, so let's go ahead and make a Unity project before we uh, import them. So you're going to go ahead and open Unity, and then you're going to click the New button. And we're going to turn off uh, Analytics, so yours is probably turned on by default. I'm just going to turn it off. It'll make Unity run a bit faster. You can set this to 2D if you'd like. It doesn't really make a difference. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and make a name for this. Um, let I think that'll be good and I'm gonna go ahead and click create project and I'm gonna put this over here so we can see it and now unity is open and we have a project and I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on the asset and I'm gonna click import And that is it for this video. So this is a pretty short video, but uh, there. Now you guys have all the assets imported, and we can head over to the next video. All right, hello guys, and welcome to the next video. And in this video, we're going to be setting up all the assets that we just imported into the project. So uh, you can see the folder that I have here with all of our assets. The, uh, we're going to start out with the non-moving sprites because they're simpler. And let's just do one of them at a time so that I can do it a few times so you can remember it. So right now this texture type is at default. It may be different for you, uh, but either or you're going to go ahead and set it to Sprite 2D and UI. And it's going to be single mode because this is one image, it's not multiple images. And in advanced, we're gonna put, we're gonna uncheck transparency on this object. It's not a transparent object. And if you leave this, it won't make a difference. But uh, I'm just gonna turn it off. And filter mode, we're gonna do to point. And wrap mode is, you can leave it at clamp. If it's not set to clamp, you can set it to clamp. All right. So then you're gonna go ahead and click apply. And we're going to select all the other objects here that do not have any see-through parts, like this oil barrel here. You can tell there's a little bit of uh, transparency on it. And this spike here, it has a lot of transparency on it. So I'm going to select all the blocks that don't have transparency. And then I'm going to do the same settings as I did before. Sprite 2D and UI. And uncheck alpha transparency and I'm gonna set the filter mode to point no filter and you can go ahead and click apply and now I'm gonna select the transparent ones and I'm gonna set them basically the same 2D and UI and I'm gonna leave transparency on because they do have transparency and I'm gonna select point no filter and I'm gonna click apply and those are those images are all done. Now we're going to do the slightly harder images, which are the ones with multiple images in them. Uh, but first, we're going to do these single images, and uh, these ones are just—they're uh, all transparent. So I'm going to select them all real quick. Uh, the gear—I uh, I think I'm going to remove this before you guys get it, so don't worry about that gear. Uh, the arm and might as well just do the cardboard and we're gonna do sprite 2d and UI we're gonna do point no filter we're gonna clamp it and we're gonna leave transparency on even though the cardboard box isn't transparent uh, that part is not insanely crucial so don't worry about it too much uh, 
but I'm just going to go ahead and click apply now. And just because this gear is annoying me, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And now we can do to the go to the moving sprites. Uh, these this coin and this heart here will be the easiest ones. So I'm going to start with those. Uh, let's start with the coin. You're going to set it to sprite 2D UI. You're going to set it to multiple for the sprite mode. And you're going to select alpha is transparency and point no filter. And you're going to clamp it. And that should be all that stuff. But now is where the more complicated part comes in, which is the sprite editor. So Unity has already done a automatic slicing on this. Uh, but as you can see here, it's made a mistake and it's selected two and or it's selected two of the things it's supposed to only select one of these. Uh, so we're gonna have to fix that. And how we're gonna do that is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna drag this one onto here, this one onto here, and this one onto here. And then uh, let's go ahead and make these slightly smaller so that we can have enough room for the last one. Just kind of drag them until they're at the uh, edges of the pixels, like so. Fix this one. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag a little box around this guy here and that is all you need to do and uh, that should fix our problem here and I'm just going to go ahead and rescale these to make sure they're proper size otherwise the uh, animation will look a little bit weird um, I'll go into more explaining on that when we get to the character which is a little bit harder to set up so this should be uh, all done here so you can go ahead and click the apply button and we can go to the next object which is the heart so we're going to do the same settings, we're going to go ahead to sprite 2d and ui and multiple since this is multiple and we're going to set it to clamp and point no filter and we're going to click apply and then we're going to click sprite editor and it should open up this window for you and we're going to make sure that it's done everything properly and in this case it looks like it has so we don't have to do anything else to this one so we can go to the next one which is the idling oh yeah you gotta click apply first and uh, we're gonna do the same settings for this one sprite 2d multiple clamp and point no filter click apply and then you click sprite editor and this one has not auto sliced did I forget something here? Hmm. Okay. Apparently, I just had to re-click on it. Uh, if if it didn't uh, load for whatever reason, just click on something else and click back on it, and it should work. Um, now you can see these little dots here. They're not quite where they're supposed to be. Um, what I kind of use on as a reference point for this character is this little pixel on the back of his neck and I try to center the dot on that pixel as much as possible like I did there and then I'm going to do the same one on here and uh, if you don't do this the animation is going to kind of look all over the place and it won't look very good uh, so that is very important for the animation part of this so now that we've done that one we're going to do the same for the run left you gotta click the apply button here before you do this so click apply now this one's gonna take a little bit longer since there's so many of uh, the character but first let's go ahead and do the settings which are gonna be 2D and we're gonna set sprite mode to multiple and so far all of these have seemed to have gone to the right settings so we're not gonna worry about those so now we're just going to go ahead and do the uh, sort of boring part where we uh, uh, if it did that, did that thing again, so I guess i got to click back on it. 
and recenter this dot on the middle of each of these pixels. And this one, it almost looks like it's already done most of them, which is very strange. Uh, it might have actually remembered from me uh, doing it in last time, so that's probably why these are all centered already. Uh, but if for whatever reason these aren't centered properly, you can go ahead and center them. But these are already looking like they're dead on because I I must have accidentally did it when I exported these assets. So yeah, it looks like the boring part is done for you guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, double check on uh, running right here. We're going to set the settings to Sprite 2D, multiple, and click apply. And it looks like these guys might be messed up a little bit here. Or I did a different reference point on them. These ones are not very precise, is what it looks like to me. So we're going to go ahead and do these, because these look like they're pretty far off. So as we did on the other one before, we're going to use this pixel on his neck as a reference point. Just kind of center it there, and then head over to the next one. And center this here. Yeah, sorry. It's a little bit small and hard to do. There we go. Next one. Next one. And next one. Next one. Next one. Now we may adjust these later if this still doesn't look correct, but for now this is what we're going to leave them at. Um, so once you've adjusted all those, you can just go ahead and click the apply button. And that is all the boring stuff done. And we have done all the settings for the import settings. So in the next video, we're actually going to start setting up a scene and setting up the player movement. So that'll be fun. Uh, but that's the end of this video, so I'll see you guys in the next video.